another instance ornament. Uh, very nice shape. Uh, 15 high cut points, uh, five losers. Okay. Um, well, I would be tempted to go for spades, except that I probably shouldn't. Uh, my partner could have just uh, gone to spades with very little points. Uh, but I do have a nice shape. So I can, uh, I can invite, I can, call, I can justify inviting, I think. So, okay. All right, so accepted my invite. Wes has doubled. So Wes is likely short in spades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this jack is either a singleton jack or if it's a singleton jack, then okay, we'll see. I don't can't make conclusions yet. All right, that's one. Let's draw trumps. Those three hard losers are a bit concerning because I have to make I cannot oh that was a tree. So this West has no uh trumps at all. And I have three losers and half straight away. So uh, the way that the robot led leads me to believe that uh, diamonds is not balanced. I think I will probably go down one trick. I have to draw trumps. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One diamond came out. Okay. Okay, so, uh, okay, fine. I have one diamond winner uh, from a promotion, yes. Not sure if it helps. So, okay, I still have two losers, but not too bad. Okay. Um, okay, for a moment there, I thought I was gonna go down one. But I think uh, the basically the robot uh, uh, discarded a diamond, and that was the reason why. Okay, all right. So okay, um, it wasn't totally the result of good planning. I think it just turned out that way. Okay. Anyway, let's go here. 14, 18 points. Uh -huh. So two bit, this is a free bit, so it would indicate six to nine points or 10. This is the robot indicates. Uh, so Eighteen plus six, uh, twenty-four. But I have two double turns here. I could be within side of game actually. I think I will.
Okay, straight away, I have no losers in hearts because of the queen of heart lead. Uh, thing looks pretty straightforward, really. I need to draw, after I win with this, I need to draw trumps. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more trump. Uh, there's a possibility of promoting one of my hearts. Nope, don't think so. Okay, that's out of question. Now let's try the time trying to. Get ring out one extra from the diamonds. I don't think so. Nope. All right. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was playing the odds really. But my nine of diamonds is now good. Okay, so basically, I, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, I was basically squeezing out every last uh, low probability I had. So that's why I played the diamond. And I just lucked out to uh, get a winner out of my last diamond. Okay, so anyway, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 13 points. Uh huh. This is a forcing one, no trump. So the, I should show my club suit. And my partner is showing three hearts and about 10 to 12 points. Yes. So I think I can justify going four hearts. Um, I have eight clubs, which I'm going to lose pretty rapidly, but Chances are good, these are the only cards I lose. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's one more club out there. Okay, one, one more. Okay, no more trumps. So, pretty easy. I'm just going to draw the remaining club winner. Yep. Okay. So, uh, I just want to remind you that uh, always look out for long suits, and it's not just it's not just in uh, it's not just in it's not just in, in no trumps. Even in trump play, you look out for long suits. Look at this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all low clubs, right? So. But I have eight of them. So if once the opponent's clubs all go, my remaining clubs are good. So that's what I did, right? I drew trumps here. I want more club to draw, right? But I have to draw trumps first. Now I purposely lose to the ace of clubs, but that means my nine and seven of clubs are good, 
winners. All right. So, all right. Okay. Uh, actually, um, no, okay, fine. Uh, all right, so seven, eight, nine, and I'm trying to call it 17 points. Um, I think I have a slam going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show my shortage in diamonds. This is called splinter bit. Look at this, All right? It shows one zero to one diamonds, four plus hearts, 13 to 16 total points. I actually have more than that. I'm quite a bit stronger than that. So I'm prepared to go to slam, but I'm I just see what my partner is showing. No, I'm going to try anyway. My partner shows and he's not interested in slam, which probably means he's uh, around a minimum hand. Could be as low as 12 points. Uh, and I have uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 17. Uh, but it, it might still be a slam might still be makeable with a, a singleton in my hand. So my partner has maybe 12 points. Where are the 12 points? Uh, let's say uh, Ace king here, that's seven, king, eight, nine, ten. So his honors must be somewhere, and I'm already occupying some of the slots. All right, so I can basically ask, and if I have two, if I have two uh, key cards, I can go for slam. And I do have two key cards, so I'm going to go for slam. Two, this means two key cards with a queen. Sorry, excuse me. This means two key cards with a queen, which is a little odd because I have the queen. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind, but I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for slam anyway. Alrighty. Ah, oh, this is a this is a excellent hand actually. Okay, so I can certainly discard this club loser very easily. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh one more. Okay, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there are no more trumps. I can certainly discard this club. Throw this away. Okay. And then start cross roughing. Okay, so slam was pretty obvious here. Uh, I've only got 64. Uh, so most people went to slam. Uh, a couple of enterprising chaps tried for a grand slam. Which you probably shouldn't try unless you're really, really sure. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points. I've got a singleton diamond. Uh, so that's nice. I think I'm going to just let it go. I'm vulnerable anyway. Yeah, I did entertain the thought of being two hearts, but maybe it's lucky I didn't. Looking at the four hearts in my right hand side. Um, 
I've got a king, queen here, and a king here, but the opponent has. So maybe I, I should just take this. All right. Oh, okay. That was a bad idea, I think. Yeah, bad idea. Hmm, that was a bad idea. I should switch the suit. Yeah, probably two clubs. I should have switched. Okay, uh, not too good for that one. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven points. Balance hand, nothing to beat. Oh, it's all passed up. In case you haven't noticed, I got 71% all from the act of passing. So it's not always a bad idea to pass. I think, uh, let's see. Uh, South bit one, spade here, went down. One, uh, sorry, one club. Okay, so a bunch of, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six of them actually tried to open bidding with a one o'clock. Uh, the thing is, the hand wasn't exactly uh, bad. It was a balanced hand with 11 high cut points. Not really worth opening and uh, looks like uh, it proved correct for me. So anyway, let's go ahead. 15 points. So I'm going to do here what I sometimes don't do in live bridge. Uh, but for the purposes of this uh, demo, I'm going to bid one no trump with 15 points, albeit with a singleton, uh, singleton uh, diamond. Now, uh, uh, some uh, ACBL rules allow for a singleton to have one no trump opener, but a singleton should be an honor, a good honor, uh, not a four of diamonds. But uh, my experience is that uh, most of the time, my partner has a decent suit in the suit that I have a singleton in. Okay, so that's all right. It doesn't matter anyway. So my partner didn't want to bid. <laughs> so Okay, this is capillarity, meaning uh, spades and a minor, probably the diamonds. I'm going to pass this, I have four spades here. Okay. Just to see what's going on out there. Okay, so my right hand side opponent probably is short uh, hearts. I'm going to empty out my diamond suit. Good for me to rough. I'm going to play clubs. Right, so it's very hard for my opponent to now return to dummy. Perfect. So I'm just going to lead another heart, which will be roughed as expected. Uh, I can rough again. I'm going to draw trumps. And then
uh, hearts are no use. No, no, he can't go over anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, good for me, actually, in defense. But uh, of course, you should see that my partner had four diamonds, Jack 1073. Uh, that's, that's quite typical. Uh, even when I open a no trump opener with a singleton, it's quite typical. Uh, of course, I should caution you that uh, I don't normally open one no trump with a lousy singleton. I, I may open a one no trump with an ace uh, singleton or something like that. Uh, so this was atypical. I just wanted to show you that you could uh, open one no trump without fear with 15 to 17. Uh, I encourage you to read up on this on the internet. Okay. Mm, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Um, well, I obviously have a game and I've got four cards in my hand. There is nothing for me to really show because I a balanced hand. So I might as well just be three no charm straight. Okay. Uh, my right hand side has five or six uh, hearts. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So my left hand side has one or two hearts, uh, more likely two. Uh, but uh, I have five winners in diamonds, three in spades, that's eight already. And uh, obviously the ace of hearts is very likely in my right hand side. So I think it should be able to comfortably make. I'm going to adapt this. And I can win this because I'm confident that left hand side has no more, uh, no more uh, hearts. Every every small thing helps, of course. Uh, all right, because uh, of course I could eventually lose the ace of clubs and ace of clubs would be on my right hand side, for example. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to run it out. I'm being a bit lazy here actually because I could have tried for extra tricks in clubs. But okay, that's fine, 60% respectable. And that will be the end of this session. Thanks.